Chapter 10 Our Industries When our natural resources are transformed into more useful products with the help of human labor or a machine, the process is called as manufacturing or industries. So in this chapter, we will be studying about the industries in India. So next, that is a factor needed for industries. There are certain things needed to set up an industry such as raw materials, machines, power, labor, finance and transport. So these are the things that is needed for setting up an industries. Raw materials, machines, power, labor, finance and transport. The basic commodities used in this process of manufacturing products are called as raw material. So this basic commodities used for manufacturing of the products are called as raw materials. We require machines to, to turn these raw materials into finished goods. So what is the purpose of machine? Why we need a, why we require a machine? It is nothing but to turning this raw materials into finished or a final goods. For example, cotton ball. So this cotton ball is a raw material are processed and made into cotton clothes with the help of machines. So this is one of the example. Next, we need power that is electricity to run a machine. Power can be produced in different ways. That is thermal power is produced from coal, gas or oil. Nuclear or on atom power is produced in nuclear power plants. That is hydroelectric power is produced from water. Yes. We need power that is electricity to run a machine. Just now we have discussed that. Next, power can be produced in different ways. So which are the different ways that power is produced? That is nothing but thermal power is produced from coal, gas or oil. Nuclear or atomic power is produced in nuclear power plants. Hydroelectric power is produced from water. Industries need people who can think, plan, design and finally make a product. So industry required a persons or a people. So which kind of people they require? Who can think, plan, design and finally make a product. Therefore various forms of labor, engineers, scientists, managers and workers are required to run an industry. So an industry required various laborers, engineers, scientists, managers and a worker are required to run an industries. Money, that is not a part of finance, is most of the important resource for setting, setting up an industries. The last factor is transport. So which is the last factor that is nothing but transport. Which is required to bring a raw material to the factory and send finished product into different parts of country. So why do we require transport? It is nothing but once the required raw materials bring uh, it is required transport is required for bringing raw materials into the factories and sending those finished product into the different parts of country. Next we shall be discussing about different categories of industries. Industries that use uh, agricultural products as a raw materials are known as agro based industries. So there are cottage industries, small scale and large scale industries. So there are three different types of categories of industries. First one is cottage industries. These are very small industries. They are set up by people in their own homes and require very few workers. So cottage industries are small industries which are set up by people in their own homes and require very few workers. Machines are not required, only simple tools are required. For the cottage industries, machines are not required, only simple tools are required. Next, second one is small scale industries. So these are small industries, which is use of small machines and employ more people than cottage industries. So the small scale industries require more people compared to the cottage industries. Next, such industries make a product like electrical, plastic goods, furniture and handloom clothes and the third one is large scale industries so this large scale industries are very big industries thousands of people work here and large machines are required used to produce goods in huge quantities so small scale industries require small machines but less large scale industries require large machines and thousands of workers to produce goods in huge quantity for example cotton iron steel and ship, ship building. Next, we shall see what is the importance of these industries. 
so what would be the importance of these industries is nothing but cotton textiles industries in india are very important because india is one of the leading producers of cotton textiles some important centers of this industries are mumbai ahmedabad kanpur and kolkata we use many things made up of iron and steel in our daily lives iron and steel plants are located in area where raw materials like coal iron ore are found some of the main centers of this iron and steel industries are jamshedpur visakhapatnam it is a basic industries which supports many other industries next the main centers of automobiles of industries are mumbai pune chennai kolkata and nasik next what is this electronical goods it is industries are based mainly in bengaluru mumbai chennai and hyderabad the main centers of ship building is visakhapatnam kochi and mumbai the engineers of other industries that manufacture tractors pumps cranes telephone and other machines are located in the place like mumbai bengaluru and hyderabad so these are the some of the importance of this all three industries that is large scale cottage industries and small scale industries and some other more importance of this industries in india are those which produce paper sugar cane cement fertilizers hair craft and glass industries are of the great help to us to make our lives comfortable however many of holes also pollute air and water many developed countries have adopted cleaner methods of production by using the hydroelectric city and wind power finally india industries is making all possible effort to keep pace with the latest developments in science and technologies and has emerged as one of the lead leader in field of computer technology and space research